are things I wish I knew before starting my fitness journey? Let's talk about it. Health and fitness is a lot more than just showing up, eating healthy, and lifting weights. Although the outer body experience has to happen, it all starts with what's happening inside of you, what your mindset is like, and what your daily habits consist of. There are so many things that I wish I knew before starting my fitness journey, but today we're going to talk about four things in particular. And quick disclaimer, none of these are listed in any particular order. Don't touch that computer with your juicy fingers. I got that tie right there for you. Okay. Eat it over your plate. She's doing ABC mouse. It good. The first thing I wish I knew before starting my fitness journey was that it takes a lot of discipline and consistency to start and maintain a fitness journey. Not every day is going to look the same, and not every day will you be motivated to do the work. So full transparency, um, the past couple of weeks have been a struggle. They have definitely been more on the, I have to implement my discipline side, opposed to just being motivated. So one major key to sustaining a healthy lifestyle, to sustaining a healthy fitness routine um, is discipline when you are creating new habits you also have to create new behaviors and discipline is one that I've been working on for the past two years or so and honestly it is necessary in the moments when you're not motivated you're not always going to be motivated to work out you're not always going to be motivated to eat healthy. You're not always going to be motivated to show up as your best self. We're human. It's so easy to just do what we want to do opposed to doing what we need to do. And creating the discipline behavior takes a lot of work. Okay. And there are times when you really have to show up for yourself because nobody's going to show up for you the way that you're going to show up for yourself. And there are times when you're going to want to quit. But practicing discipline, like I said, definitely helps when you're not motivated. So that's kind of where I am right now. The past couple of weeks have been a struggle as far as discipline. No, 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 no. They've been a struggle as far as motivation goes. My discipline has been kicking in because I have no other choice. Like understanding why I do what I do helps me to stay disciplined. So that's something that I encourage you to really get clear on. Like, why are you doing what you're doing? Why is it that you want to work out? Why is it that you want to be healthy and eat healthy and move your body and, you know, do the shadow work to release trauma and to heal and to become your best self if you don't have a strong enough why you will easily talk yourself out of doing the hard things out of doing the things that you need to do in order to become who you're trying to be so for me last week i was on my period and it was like definitely a struggle y'all know ladies that when we're on our period it's like <laughs> Yo, I don't really too much want to do anything other than 
chill and just like love on me and I'm learning more to um, be gentle with myself when I am on my cycle to definitely listen to my body listen to my heart and my desires and give myself that grace so last week I did one workout <laughs> and that was actually the day before I came on my cycle and um, yeah I just totally was like screw the rest of the week as far as workouts goes and I mean I kind of got to the point to where I kind of beat myself up about it where I kind of beat myself up about it but then I had to remember that you know this is a time for me to really just like cleanse and be one with self and not push myself as hard as I would when I'm not on my cycle this week has been I guess more so um like a come down from my cycle I have been like extremely exhausted and so I haven't been getting up well I haven't been staying up as early as I need to because I have to get up early enough to get the twins ready for school and usually you know I start my morning routine then but this week it's been a struggle like girl has been going back to sleep after the kids get on the bus and not waking up to like 10 and then starting her day but you know I also had to be gentle with myself with that because it's like you don't have to be up that early if you don't really have any I would say things to do I mean I, I have things to do and it would be beneficial if I would stay up early enough to get them done I would have them done at least by two o'clock but with me getting up at 10 it's like five most of the times when I'm completing everything that I need to do but again just being gentle with myself and giving myself grace so discipline and consistency is definitely important whenever you are trying to sustain a healthy lifestyle you're gonna need discipline to kick in on those days when motivation is not there and you're gonna need to stay consistent in order to bring that motivation back so with that being said it's friday and today we have corn cardio and it is 11 19 so uh it's time to get dressed and get out there and actually do a workout so let me do that before I procrastinate procrastinate even more <laughs> So the importance of building your discipline is dire to your success. One thing that aided in building my discipline was fully understanding why I started my fitness journey. Something that I became clear on is that if my why wasn't strong enough, on the days that I didn't feel like getting the things that I said I would do done, I would quit on myself. I would give myself every excuse under the sun to do something other than what needed to get done. This is going to look different for everyone, but I strongly suggest that you take some time to truly understand what your health and fitness journey is doing for you, what it is healing for you, and giving you the opportunity to create a space of newness in your life. Hold on to this understanding and keep it in the forefront of your mind. So on the days when motivation is missing, discipline can take over and you can continue to be consistent.
that I wish I knew was how to set SMART goals and achieve them. At the beginning of my journey, I just knew that I wanted to have a flatter tummy, I wanted to pick up some weight, and have a juicy booty. That's it. Opposed to me being clear on the fact that I wanted to gain 30 pounds while sculpting my abs in the process and knowing what that would actually look like in depth. For example, how many months would this take? What nutrition best fits this goal? What exercises should I be doing, etc. Which leads me to my third and fourth point of wishing that I knew how badly I needed a fitness program tailored specific to my personal goals instead of only using trendy and or online workouts and that nutrition is 80% of fitness and a well-balanced nutrition lifestyle is key to seeing desired results. Now, I'm not saying that using trendy and or online workouts is a bad thing and not to do it, but what I'm saying is, if you have a specific fitness goal, and we all should, then you should definitely do your research to understand what exercises will work best to get you those results. If this is something that's too much for you, I would suggest that you find a personal trainer that can guide you on this and help to educate you on what it is that you need. On the same accord, this goes hand in hand with knowing what your nutrition regimen should look like. How much should you be eating? What should you be eating? And things of that nature. Again, do your research and or find a nutrition coach to help guide you on that. Woo! Per usual, yet another intense workout. It was everything I needed though because I was not feeling it, but I had no choice but to push through it, you feel me? So now we're about to eat. It is... <clears throat> 12.48 and um, I'm going to make breakfast so it's pretty much going to be brunch so that's what I'm about to do, let's eat I knew before starting my journey, I wouldn't trade growing through my failures to get to this understanding for anything. Being able to be in action, learning, unlearning, and learning again has given me a deeper connection with myself, with divine, and with my purpose in life. One of my favorite affirmations is, I am a master student. Learning that life is our greatest teacher has changed my perspective and outlook on how I do this thing called life. Every moment, Everything, every decision is a teachable moment. When you decide to understand what everything is here to teach you, your entire mindset shifts for the better. And for me, health and fitness has helped me get to this realization.